Good morning everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. I've got head lice and my skin is itchy and burning and it's just not ideal. <laughs> oh no, my camera battery's flashing fucking great. Why do I look like this in the morning? Like it's really becoming quite the issue, you know? I look fucking weird. Good morning everyone, welcome back to my vlog channel. So today is in fact, oh my god, it's a Thursday. It's, it feels like so weird this week. I feel super disorientated. It's the 30th of July and I feel weird. Obviously it has us 21st the other day, so we just went to Brighton to be by the seaside. We spent a lot of time on the beach. We just walked to the pier, went in the old Okay, it said bonjour, hello, bonjour to a lot of seagulls. And then we came home and I got sunburnt, which is why my nose and my lips are really red, my ears really red, my arms, I don't know if you can see, are really red. I got a really good tan line on my finger though, like kind of gas about that, if I can get my ring off. You know you're sunburnt when your full body swells up because I can't get my ring off. That's my tan line after being on the beach for like an hour. Maybe I tan now. Maybe I'm like a summer girl, hot girl, summer now, pop this shit. Anyway, today is a Thursday and because we've been away, because we've been away, it feels like that with a weekend and like today should be Monday, but it's not and like it's almost the weekend and like my brain just can't really comprehend that. So maybe like it's all just a social construct and like the world doesn't actually exist. But that's currently what's going on in my brain. We have a house inspection today, which is really not fun at all. I have to paint the walls. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Basically, I have chips in my like the paint on my walls where I've hung stuff on the walls and stuff and um in our contract it says you know let's hang anything on the walls I love that so glad that I just did that because now it's coming to moving out I'm like oh my god I've got to do a lot I took the things off my walls now already and I've just got to sand some stuff and like paint some stuff and like do some stuff and I've got like two hours to do it all and we've got to clean the full house because they're coming to do a house inspection and remarket the place and I just don't think the current stage of my room is very appropriate appropriate for a little inspection, you know? So I thought I'd pick up my camera instead of doing anything. But yeah, we move out in literally like less than three weeks and I'm so unbelievably excited. They're currently like doing all the checks with us on the papers and stuff to see if we can afford to live there to like do like all the criminal record checks like where you have to give them your passport details and shit. It's just like a lot. I don't really know what like we're waiting for. I don't know if we've got the apartment officially. We keep getting emails asking for like maintenance's permission to go into the apartment. So I feel like we've got it. But then also like they only asked for the papers the other day. So like, do we have it? Could they decline us at this very moment? Like they don't even know if we can afford to live there yet. So like we could be pranking them. This could all be one big prank. However, if it all goes well, we're moving out in less than two weeks. Less than three weeks, sorry. Maybe less than two weeks by the time you're watching this. But I honestly just can't wait to get out of this place. I'm so bored of it we've been here two years and i'm just like ready for something new i'm ready for a change the new apartment is incredible i cannot just wait to get in there i want to just do my room different i hate my bedroom right now disgusting 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 and i also just can't wait to have coat hangers because all that on there is just clothes that has no coat hangers so that's always good i need to get up i need to have breakfast and then i need to get my little workshop outfit on this is the current set of my room i have an urban outfitters box there because it had some of hasn't presents in it and it's just oh i could use that box actually for when we move out i need to order some cardboard boxes at some point obviously to start packing all my shit away like in those drawers the only set of drawers i've used for the past two years is the one on top and by set of drawers i mean the only drawer in that set of drawers that i've actually opened in the past two years is the one at the top so god knows what's in the other two it's just bullshit and i don't need it i really don't need it I need to go food shopping today as well. I've got a lot to do, a lot to do, a lot to do. I think I'll probably go food shopping once the people have been to like inspect the apartment and, or whatever. Um, so that'll be great. I don't really know what they're coming for in all honesty. Like, I really don't get. They just said to remarket the house. Like what does that mean? Does that mean they're gonna take photos? Like do I have to be like candid at the table cooking some food? I don't really know what that means. Like they really can't be taking photos of my bedroom with the current state that it looks in. Like I know I'm gonna clean it and stuff, but even then, like I'm in the middle of moving out, bitch. There's things everywhere. This is a little before of my room. Obviously I've just made my bed, but this is the current situation. All the cluttering clams, there's still gonna be clutter. This is my outfit of the day. This lovely black tracksuit. Um, these bottoms are actually from um, New End. I really I really like them. I wear them quite often actually. I really love, I said this in the haul that I did on Instagram because I work with them quite a lot on Instagram, but I really love the little aglets on these. My camera just doesn't want to focus. Don't know if you can see that. It's like a rubber thing. But they're really, really nice tracks with bottoms actually. And I believe you can use code Byron for 15% off. I don't know if that's still working, but that was a thing at one point. Whether it is still, I'm not too sure. Try it anyway. Who knows? Hey, Gail. 
A present just arrived for Haz and it's from my mom. So, gonna open it on camera because my mom watches the vlogs. So this is for my mom if you're not my mom. I can't even speak. If you're not my mom. If you're not my mom, then stop watching. I'm intrigued to see what it is. My mom said she wants it herself or she wants to try it herself. So she said let her know what it's like, but I don't really know what that could mean. That could mean a lot of things. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that is so random. <laughs> How does she know that I have insomnia? Is that gin? <laughs> what flavour is that? Your mum is supporting my alcoholism. That sounds like, well, yeah, lemon. <laughs> right, and a couple hours later, we have a successful clean room, and not only a clean room, you'll be delighted to see. Oh, the entire flat. Oh god, the lighting is lovely and clean. So just a little update, the inspection has actually just happened and when I say the guy literally was in and out within like 5-10 minutes I don't really know what he inspected or what he did. He just walked in and out of every room and then came into the kitchen and we're like, alright, perfect, have a nice day. And we were like, Ugh. What? What the fuck? We'd literally been on our hands and knees for like three hours, scrubbing and cleaning all the floors, all the walls, everything. And then he literally just walked in and out and then left. So I don't really know what he was checking for, if I'm honest. He literally walked in the kitchen, went, all right, and then left. So I don't really know what the situation is. Anyway, it's now like two o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't eaten anything apart from my eggs this morning. So I just ordered a McDonald's. I were actually literally scoffing my face as the man came in, which were always amazing. 10 out of 10 would recommend doing that. But me and Haz have decided we're going go do a food shop and then we are gonna oh yeah look at Haz's bruise this is what happened in her birthday on her birthday should I say can you even see it it doesn't even no. look that bad oh it does Haz does it yeah it is bad please don't mind my hairy leg it is bad so we don't really know how that happened Has just woke up with that bruise so I love that anyway what I was saying is we've decided we're gonna go to the park around the corner from our house just chill in the park because it's like 29 degrees today and we sat inside, so we're gonna do a food shop and then go and have a little picnic in a box. This is our little picnic camper, I told Haz to cut me my pizza up. We've got some breadsticks. We didn't actually film, well I didn't actually film, I was going to the supermarket because it was boring. But look, the fridge is stopped. I spent so much fucking money on food, it's a joke. And now we're gonna go and sit in the park. The sun actually looks like it's going behind the buildings, but we're gonna try and get a little bit of sun before it does. Got this bag packed. I got this bag gifted by ASOS the other day. And it's actually so handy. It's got like an actual inside pouch. What's in my bag time? So we have a blanket. It comes with this pouch that attaches to the bag. So I've put all like my wallet and stuff in there. But then also there's a zip up compartment inside the actual bag. Bloody amazing, it's magnetic and everything. <laughs> is actually burning we don't own any sun cream we own one bottle for the household and Freya's took it so my arm is just burning currently I brought some snacks to the park some pizza we have a lovely can of tuna here and some pineapple so that's my diet for today everyone thinks I eat really unhealthy so whenever I post that I eat what I'm eating people are like I thought you ate unhealthy I don't think I should put that on my arm as the time is put this on but it's, it's got 15% like, SPF, it's better than just bare skin. It's better than bare skin, but it's also a tanning oil. Oh my god, I really have um, caught the sun today. Bloody hell. Oh, just gonna bob my door closed. Um, hi everyone, it's now the next day and I haven't filmed anything all day. It is now the evening time. I have literally been sunbathing then all day long. I basically got all my work done at the, like, towards the beginning of the week. Because obviously we went to Brighton for Hazard's birthday. So I literally got everything that I needed to get done for the past, for the next week out of the way and done. Apart from filming my video, which I'm going to do in the evening. But it's been the hottest day of the year today. Like, I really didn't feel like sitting in my room and filming. I'm going to do it either today or tomorrow. But I'm all on track. I'm all on schedule anyway. Everything is sorted. However, I've been laid out in the garden all day long. And I don't know if you can see, but I've got the sun a bit. I didn't think I could tan. I literally was always the person that never ever tanned. My dad tans ridiculously easy. Like my dad's side of the family literally will look at the sun and tan, and it's the most frustrating thing ever because me and my mom and my brother, I thought never tanned. Like when we went on family holidays and stuff, and when I've been on a holiday, as you'll know by the LA vlogs, I never really tan. I just sort of go red. And I know I'm very red now looking in the viewfinder. However, I can see a little bit of a tan. I'm gonna have a look. I'm gonna take my ring off. 
and see if um, let's bob this tripod on, see if I actually have tanned. I have. I mean, it's not much. Like, come on, Byron. Like, it's really not much at all. But that little line right there means I've caught the sun today. I can now say I do, in fact, tan. I never thought, like, I'd be able to tan in the UK, especially because when I go abroad and stuff, I don't know what my hair's doing. I never tan. Anyway, that's besides the point. Today, I've literally just been sat in the garden all day long with Haz just literally chilling in the sun. I've come in now because the sun has started to go away, but it's still boiling hot. It was the hottest day of the year. What time is it? I'm meal prepping. There's no way you got that tan today. It's definitely fake. I have fake tan on as well, but it's not. Look, this is my tan line for my ring. Well, how do you get like that then? Because I'm, I'm just. Because I don't obviously fake tan with my ring on. So that's just from today. Um, yeah, just don't listen to what I'm saying. I have sweaty balls, and I'm gonna go. Bye. No, oh, that's so cute. Why didn't they actually like have little mouths? <laughs> so it has just got. They don't have little mouths, Haz. No, Haz doesn't know how a plant works. She said, hold the water. I said, Haz, they've obviously drank it all. And she said, oh my god, that is so cute. It I is cute. my leg also. Can you, it's pissing. Come on, can you please get Whoa. it? What am I doing? Put that little sash over there, that one on the table. Put that in there and then fill that up with water. Because what some of them, the tulips, I'm gonna even all punch it. <laughs> What? I'm, I'm scared, me. Why do I scream like a man and you scream water. like a girl? Just water. That's what, it. Hot or cold? Good. Dun, 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 dun. I look good with the baby flowers. He wants to waft me. They're all. dead, bitch. Excuse me, not. Right, I've eaten my food and I just thought, you know what? I... food off, it's beginning. Here we go. But after you, which is shut it, please, Shanice. Anyway, I've just eaten my food. It was really, really nice, actually. I think I overheated my rice, so props gonna get food poisoning. Um, but I thought I'd love to just tuck into a lovely little twig. So we went food shopping yesterday, like you saw. Well, you didn't, because I didn't fucking film anything. But like I said, please tell me why my full packet of Twix has melted from inside my cupboard. Guess yeah. the crotch. Yeah, I look like Tom and Jerry's more. And my full packet of Twix has melted. What other chocolates in there? Um, what else did I buy? Kit Kats. <laughs> Also, I'm at, did you put Kit Kats in there? I know they're Well, Haz, you better fucking get with the program, ain't ya? I'm that's it, right? So that's it. Don't know why I was telling you. Anyway, we're gonna watch the Vine Australia now and just chill. I'm gonna ink my tweets in peace, but it's literally mushy. It's mushy peas, mushy peas. Do you wanna be a babe and make me a drink? No, because I only drink my tea. Oh, Alright then, bye. <laughs> <laughs> so me and Haz are currently chasing the sunset because um, Josh has been sending videos of it and he's in Primrose Hill. We don't live anywhere near Primrose Hill, but the sunset's beautiful. So we're currently running down the street to get it. Haz has literally got her slippers on. I've got these shoesies on that just look like slippers. Also I realised my front of my legs are really tanned and the back of my leg is white because I didn't turn it over. Haz is adamant that we're going to see this and I really don't think about it. You can see it slightly up there. But we can't get to a road that's flat like that. They can see it on Primrose, so it's literally a hill. Can confirm we um couldn't see it. It is somewhere behind there, but the buildings are just too high. So we're taking the L and we're going home. I'm no, I'm sad. Any chummy boys want to take me to watch sunset in a really high building? Hit me up. <laughs> I've got, I've got some period pants on, do you want to have a look? With a big so daddy foot if I was on my period wearing these pants. That energy we're going to leave in 2020. How do I do this? There's no instructions. <laughs> I actually fucked in a book, so that's right. So we've just been for food in a little place called Red Farm. Red Farm, I wonder why I went like that. We've just been, I would call it Red Bar. I don't know why. We've just been for food in a place called Red Farm. Me and Haz went literally like last year. The guys in there are so, so nice. Literally. Uh, and the food was literally incredible. So if you're ever around Covent Garden, want some Chinese food, when I say like the best Chinese food I've ever, ever had, definitely go there. And the guys are so lovely as well. I think it's also Japanese. I'm not really too sure. I know it's Chinese. Is it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Chinese food. Anyway, whether it's Chinese, Japanese, whatever the hell it is, it's incredible. And the guys are so, so sweet. So if you're ever around Covent Garden thank area, you, 
and want to pop in. They get us food for free. How sweet! So if you ever go in there, just mention me and Hat. <laughs> yeah, please. Boost that, boost that where you go. Um, but yeah, we're just walking around Covent Garden oh, now. I'm gonna get a little fire out. It is. I knew it was. It's because it's got dumplings, so I wasn't sure of dumplings. Oh, they do the little Pac-Man things. You'll have seen in the vlog clips yeah. anyway. But they do the little Pac-Man things. And they've got but a gift. It's such a. Oh my God, yeah, they have a little <laughs> gift of the Pac-Man. Anyway, it's such a lovely evening. We're just walking around Covent Garden. Look how fucking cute it is. It's so nice and warm as well. Oh, my camera, of course, is not focusing. Oh, 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 lovely. Um, well, we did have pizza and pineapples, but it's gone. Cheers. <laughs> This has honestly been the most random vlog in the entire world. But hi everyone, it is now, I don't even know what day it is. It's a Saturday, it's August. Hi everyone, I haven't really filmed much this week. I've been really, really busy. I um, got told that our moving date could be a lot sooner, as in like next week sooner, as in like a week today soon. And I really weren't anticipating that. Basically my mom is obviously moving me out. She's coming down in like a big van and she's getting mine and has her stuff and moving it to the new place. But I thought it just were further away and then it's been pushed forward because Haz is now going on holiday and I and my mum can't do weekdays anymore she can only come down on a weekend so like these are only a couple days in the month where we can actually move and I'm stressed and I want to be moved out by my 21st which will happen but it means everything that if we want everything to go ahead like it has and like it is we got to move out and get our shit together earlier so I spent the day going through my wardrobes and I know you're looking around my room and thinking it looks no different however you're on a bunch of boxes that were empty literally yesterday and they're now all full I'll show you in a second but everyone basically went to the beach today but sadly I couldn't go because I had a bunch of work to do I've got all my work done I literally was in the house it's been like 30 degrees today the nicest day ever and everyone was like let's go to the beach let's get the train to Brighton let's just go chill on Brighton Beach and I would just sat at home like ha 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 I can't because I have so much work to do that needs to get done and I like can't just give up responsibilities and I'm really good in that sense like, I'm really harsh on myself when I have things to do I have it to do that like, I can't just like stop doing it like, I could have not done it today and just put it off and done it tomorrow but like I needed to get it done today so that's the situation I have stayed in all day I'm literally sweating which is why I'm not wearing a top apologies for that. My face looks gross and sweaty, my hair's gross and sweaty. Literally being indoors sat behind a desk in 30 degree heat with no aircon is not it, but it's also not the end of the world, so I'm not gonna complain. <laughs> I'm gonna show you my little progress that I've made with my bedroom. So I'm gonna stand outside and show you. It looks absolutely no different apart from it's one big giant mess. Oh my, mm, it don't actually look too bad in the camera, but that's because you can only see this far. See if I do that. Or that, it, yeah, it's a mess. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of coat hangers on my bed because majority of my wardrobe is now in these six boxes. And you're thinking, wow, that clothing rail looks the exact same as it did before and all the shoes are still there. So what the fuck is in these boxes? And I'm, I'm kind of thinking the same thing. I've not even touched my desk area and also this vape before anyone gets confused and he's like, oh my God, Byron smokes. I would be honest if I did smoke. However, this is not mine. My friend left it the other day and it's just been sat on my desk ever since. Vape test. Yeah, no, still not for me. So we're gonna show you inside my wardrobe. I don't know if I want to show you in this end wardrobe because like 80% of this wardrobe is my um, washing. But these are the trousers and stuff that I've left myself out, as you can see. Don't want to show you any lower because duh, 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 yep, that is how high my washing basket is. So I've got all those clothes as well to pack into boxes. But I've got here just some clothes that I have recently washed or that I've just come out of the wash or that I think I'm gonna wear. Like I've just got a couple pairs of jeans. We're here for like a week. I've got some shorts in there, some jeans in there. This is just like my most worn things I've just kept out of boxes just in case like, I'm doing anything this week and then if we move over to this wardrobe I just did the same with my tops and my jumpers and stuff um, and just put things that I probably will wear like I've just got a couple plain white t-shirts some black t-shirts all that stuff and then these are for Depop but the box is full currently so I can't really fit them in but these are gonna go on my Depop and then <laughs> I have more shoes don't know how that's happened but I have more shoes and I have all this stuff here and more shoes down there. So we're not going to talk about that because I don't know what the hell is going to happen with that. But yeah, that's basically what I've been doing with my evening. I started doing this at like six o'clock and it is now, oh my God, it's 10 to 12 and they're not back either yet. No one's back from the beach. Um, It's 10 to 12 and I've been doing this for like four hours and I literally, to look at, it looks no different. My room just has a couple of boxes in it now, but I feel like that took the longest because it was sort of me going through my wardrobe, trying things on, seeing what I did want to keep, what I didn't want to keep, what I wanted to give to 
it. But I don't know what I'm doing when moving vlogs. I don't have to make them like fun and like more entertaining and like actually think about what I'm doing. Where or if I just like film it like a vlog, I don't really think about what I'm filming when it's for a vlog. I don't really try and make it look nice or anything anymore. I sort of just like camera on a box and talk. Whereas if it's for my main channel, I feel like there needs to be some entertainment value um, that I don't provide just sat here. So yeah, please let me know what you want me to do with that because I'll easily like put them wherever. I've got a lot of shit. If there's anything in my room that you've seen that you would desperately like, obviously not things that you see me wear all the time. But if there's something that you think, Brian, I've not seen you wear that in a while or I saw you post that on Instagram and I've not seen it since. Can I have it? Please do let me know because I literally will just ask you to pay for the shipping. That could be quite fun. Um, But yeah, oh, I also have all the stuff down there. I'm just noticing things in my room like the suitcase up there as well that I noticed earlier. That's got clothes in it that I don't wear anymore. I should have just gone and give it an all to charity. I'm just over it. Moving's fun to watch. Like I love watching people's moving vlogs but when it's 30 degrees my ball sack is stuck to my leg and I'm just sat here now thinking Thinking that now is probably the best time to end the vlog. Hi everyone, it has been literally the most stressful experience of my entire life. I really don't know how people move, make it look pretty and like vlog it all and make it look nice. Obviously I've done moving vlogs before but I sort of didn't have as much stuff or I definitely didn't have as much stuff as I did before and also I just like so I moved obviously from Sheffield down to London. This is going to be really quick because I'm going to wrap this whole thing up. I feel bad if anyone's still watching. However, I moved obviously from Sheffield to London but I didn't really have anything at, anything then because I was moving to uni so I was moving out for the first time. So I saw I just had like my bedroom or like half of my bedroom because I shared with my brother and then obviously when we moved from our student accommodation to our actual house we sort of really didn't have much and also we were moving in London to another place in London and whereas now we're not in London anymore hi everyone I'm in the new place we've been here for two days now I'm finally all unpacked in my room I literally have the one box there and a couple of things I just don't know where to put yet we have nothing in the apartment currently we don't have a kettle or anything that is all to come I vlogged everything I'm still vlogging to this day I've literally just not had chance to sit down and edit anything. I thought I would get this all done and then I put my SD card in my laptop this morning and I have filmed four hours worth of footage. I don't know how that's possible. I didn't realise I started vlogging such a long time ago, like just after Haz's birthday. So I've been vlogging literally since like the 29th of July through to where we are now. Today's day is currently the 18th of August. So I've been vlogging for such a long time and not edited any of it. I literally just haven't had time. Obviously I work full time pretty much as a video editor for other people as well so I've prioritized everyone else's work because that's what pays my bills that's what literally pays the rent for this place so I put my stuff on a back burner which is annoying in the sense of like for me and obviously for you guys watching but like I have to work however I'm trying to get on top of it I'm literally spending the entire day today we've had a bunch of uh, phone calls and stuff this morning trying to sort out the bills and stuff but everything's sort of coming into place so I'm gonna try and get back on top of my editing I'm so so sorry that this vlog is so late and it's so like old I know it's gonna cause a little bit of confusion but like I said I'm gonna try and date everything in this vlog put dates on screen so you know when it was filmed. The moving vlogs are coming up. I believe they will be. I'm just looking at my laptop now. I don't know what footage there is. I need to go through it but there's still three hours of footage. I don't know what the fuck it is. I can't remember what it is. Obviously that includes the moving vlog. Don't know if the moving vlog yet is going to be on my vlog channel or on my main channel. This is going on my vlog channel so hi everyone. Sort of my last week in London. I do have more stuff to show you but please just, I don't know, I feel bad. I literally haven't uploaded on my main channel in like a week and that's not like me. Like I'm in such a routine. However, I can confirm I'm so much happier here. I didn't realise how much of a rut mentally I was in and like how I was just waking up doing the same shit every single day I literally were just like drained I was in like a creative block and everything like that and I've just realised being here for like two days I'm so much happier in this space and like I'm vlogging more I'm picking up my camera more and just like I don't know I feel like I feel like we've had a little restart button I feel like my button's being pressed to restart so I'm gonna end this vlog here I hope you did enjoy also I got a fucking tattoo that is in the next vlog I literally just remembered as I said it that I vlogged that entire thing I've just got so much shit on my camera that I would feel bad if I had an editor sending that much stuff over because I have so much fucking shit but vlogs are coming main channel videos are coming stay tuned please don't lose faith in me I feel like I got a ball rolling to a point and now I don't want to lose it like I literally pushed this ball all the way to the top uh, all the way to the top of the hill the momentum were going and I've sort of just stopped and now I feel like everything's gonna come back to the bottom of the hill but it's not my faith is there. I love you all so much. I'm so fucking grateful for everything in my life right now. And I know I sound like such a bullshit YouTuber when I say it. Being closer to home and stuff has just really put into perspective how much I value my friends, my family, and everything that I have. Um, I know I'm extremely privileged. And I feel like for the last couple of months, I never took it for granted. But I feel like I just got very... I don't know, everything was the same as same. I wasn't really living the full life that I could be. Um, here's a sneak peek of my room. Not really a sneak peek at all, but there will be moving vlogs coming very, very soon. Sorry for the delay, I apologise again. Um, I love you a lot. Thank you for literally everything. And yeah, 
Gotta go ring the bank now because um, I direct debit's not set up for the water. So if you want water in this apartment, I've got to go. Right, I love you a lot. Bye! Stay tuned for my tattoo vlog. That's probably coming next. I probably will put that on my vlog channel. Who knows? Anyway, I love you all. Bye!